It's no. pretty heavy in your book. I mean, you open up about sexual abuse that you encountered mm -hmm. starting at age six. Do you think that that trauma affected other relationships in your life? Um, I think that it definitely affected a lot in my life. Um, it definitely didn't help with insomnia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think, I, I don't know if it, if it really did, but going back and learning about it and walking through it with a therapist for me was very healing. You were also really open about your decision to stop drinking. Did your family know the extent to which you were drinking and like the events that you were drinking at? I think that people knew that I was drinking a lot, but I was very open about it. It was just something that was distracting me from mm -hmm. being clear and being present and being honest. Mm -hmm. And I really need, needed to like, handle my anxieties like face on. You had some really important conversations about body image. Mm -hmm. I mean, you talked about going from like 103 pounds to like encountering like the mom jeans incident. How do you feel standing here now? Do you feel confident? I feel very confident. You look good, girl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and you know what? Like, and Eric has embraced me at every size oh. and he's loved me just the same. So you've got, you know, you talk in your book about some of your previous relationships. So let's do a quick, if you're down for it, a rapid fire. Okay, uh-oh. Really quick Here questions. Okay, this is, what have you learned from each of these men? I'm just gonna say off the names, are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, Nick Lachey. How to love. Johnny Knoxville. He taught me how to grow up. <laughs> That's very necessary as well. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, John Mayer. He taught me that nobody deserves to be broken up with over eight times. <laughs> All right, your hubby, Eric. Well, he has taught me how to live my best, most authentic life. You talk a lot about your sort of sexual evolution and growing into womanhood. How important is sex in your marriage now? With Eric, um, we connect mind, body, soul. You know, like it's a very spiritual experience. Mm -hmm. um, in my thank yous, I'm like, I call him my sexual shaman. <laughs> Um, for some reason, sex is very healing with my husband. Gotcha. This is so exciting. It's day one of your book release. Yes. Or this is your first book related event. You've got family and friends and fans here. How does it feel? I am elated. I'm just so like <laughs> overjoyed right now. Like everything just feels so magical. Um, and you know, we're in a Barnes and Noble and here's my book. It's like, what? Yeah, the book that you wrote, yeah, oh, your no. words, yeah. It yeah. was a labor of love. Yeah. Well, and you're really open and just transparent in your book. Was writing it like a, a cathartic, sort of reflexive, reflective experience? Absolutely. I mean, I was going through all of my journals. I've kept journals yeah. since I was 15, so to read back on all of these experiences mm -hmm. and all the different kinds of relationships that I had with myself, mm -hmm. it's like, it's unbelievable. I mean, faith is the constant for me, relationship, but yeah. Um, yeah, it was very therapeutic. Good. And if people have been able to relate to it and if they talk to you or reach out I mean, and to you? I mean, I've had so many people just find inspiration from it and that mm -hmm. was I mean, that's why I wanted to share my story because I wanted people to know that I'm just like them. We've got like a surprise. You've got some some songs on the audiobook. I do How six cool songs. The audiobook was very emotional for me, and then it ends with my voice, and I think that that connection with myself um, and it just allows me to it allows me to breathe again. It's mm -hmm. just like I can put music with an audiobook. <laughs> like, you know, it's, it doesn't have to all be the, you know, it doesn't all have to be the traditional way. And Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.